it's kind of auspicious that today is Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, and his purpose was, and he spent 13 years advancing the civil rights of people based on certain characteristics, and this does the same thing. This day, it is MLK Day, I, I would respectfully and forcefully disagree with comparing Martin Luther King and his goal of equal protection when it comes to racism and segregation to compare that with what we're discussing today. And very simply, the legislation addresses a couple of the exceptions that we have in the criminal abortion ban. Right now, the exceptions in law are you can still get an abortion if you're a mother, if the abortion was performed or attempted by a physician and the woman is not a minor and filed a police report related to the fact that she was either raped or that the child was alleged to have been conceived in incest. And this does the same thing. It seeks to advance civil rights based on certain characteristics. Right now, we do not have equal protection in the law based on the alleged circumstances of conception. So let me be clear. What you're saying then is there are no exceptions. Let's say a 13-year-old girl was raped by an uncle a father, a brother, and uh, that we would force that 13-year-old to carry a pregnancy and have a child uh, and not get an abortion. Is that what I'm hearing? All we're doing with the legislation is that we are banning abortions in the case where a person alleges that, they, that the child was conceived in rape or incest. If, if I have a 13-year-old daughter and she is raped, and becomes pregnant in the state of Idaho then she could not legally get an abortion therefore meaning she would be forced to carry that pregnancy to term one of the most intimate and violent experience she might have in her life to be reminded of throughout I, I guess that I'm, I'm not sure are you splitting hairs or I'm, maybe I'm not following Senator Herndon yes Mr. Chairman and Senator Wintrow it sounds to me like Using the word force is actually the problem in the terminology that we're discussing today. I do know a person that I've known for 10 years out of Kalispell, Montana, and she's written a book, and it is called I Am the Exception. It's available on Amazon.com, and she was raped by her stepfather the first time he took her to get an abortion. The second time after he raped her again and she conceived for the second time, she told her mother that the stepfather had been raping her and he is now serving a life sentence in Montana State Prison. And that child that she actually had proved to be incredibly cathartic for her and a huge blessing in her life and is now an adult person. And I guess I'll, I'll stop with the questions, but I did on this day, it is MLK Day, I, I would respectfully and forcefully disagree with comparing Martin Luther King and his goal of equal protection when it comes to racism and segregation to compare that with what we're discussing today.